Hey there. So, uh, finally got through another work day, and, um, of course I've been thinking about this game all day, and I figured, uh, even though I gave up on that last playthrough, of course I haven't given up on the game. And so many things going through my mind. Um, some folks have requested that, uh, you know, that, that I record some more. So, um, I decided, okay, I can give that a go, and without further ado, let's jump in. So, we're going to do the same campaign, of course. Uh, this time, I am going to reduce the difficulty, because uh, obviously I'm not familiar with the scenarios, I'm not familiar with where troops are, and I don't want a repeat of the last one. Uh, I'm going to make tons of mistakes, so let's at least get some extra prestige. But we're going to go into advanced options. And I did find out what the custom army does. So they explained that... Um, so let's say I don't select custom army. The moment that the campaign starts, you'll be on turn one. But by selecting the custom army, um, I'm actually going to start in deployment mode. So it will allow me to, to pull back all the troops, sell them, buy new ones. You know, I can do whatever I want with my army. It's just that they will have pre-purchased some of them for me. And then um, here's another one that I thought was really awesome. We can give ourselves 10 commander points. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and I'm doing it because um, I, you know, I'm new to the game and I need the help. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I think that's all I uh, really need to do for here. So let's go ahead and hit play. And just for some variety, let's do Poland South instead of Poland North. Because we did the North last time, remember? <clears throat> um, that might not necessarily be good for us, but let's try it. And, of course, we got to put in our name. So we're going to call it... Uh, I gotta have something a little bit more. Corona Charlie. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have a twisted humor. I'm sorry. So, let's see. Corona gives you cough and fever and sore throat. Hmm. Yeah, he looks like a good. Okay. So, as you can see, I have actually 10 points now instead of 2. So, again, you can call it cheaty or whatever, but um, that's what I love about this game. You can customize it. I am very tempted to not do the no overstrength like we did last time, but instead do denied air force, denied artillery. Um, this could really come bite us in the butt. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to start the game with two air force, uh, two artillery. That's it. Um, oh, and then you'll have two bombers. So you'll have two, two fighters, two bombers, and two artillery. And that might be all you get for the entire game. Um, I think this would still be very tough. I, I just, I'm very, because like, let's say I did that. Look, I got 16 points now. I can like select the entire... <laughs> Why don't we spend our 10 and just see what happens? Okay, so the slots are a very big deal. So I'm going to choose these two. I'm starting to realize these are very important. Um, so 25% less slots. Obviously, that means, you know, if they're consuming 12 slots normally, uh, they're going to consume eight, 8 instead. So um, 4 slots normally, uh, it'll cost 3 instead. Um, that, to me, means something. Uh, it's not. It wasn't very hard for us to have uh, units that took up four or more slots. So that'll free up some extra slots for us. Assuming we can have enough um, uh, prestige, which leads us to the next one, Liberator. An extra 50% prestige for capturing flags. Yes, we are definitely taking that. Because, uh, you know, that was our biggest problem that last game, is we just didn't have enough prestige to do anything. So now I have four points left. Um, Anti-air units kill instead of suppress. I'm going to select that. I like that one. 
And this one looks interesting. I think it's good. I just don't know. Three extra heroes is always a nice to have, but it's not a must have. Uh, I'm thinking this extra movement point for tanks would be really nice. So I'm going to select that. Oh, and I love Deep Recon. Deep Recon's awesome. So, uh, what am I missing out on? I'm missing out on the prototypes, which eh, would be nice. This one, I think, would be nice. Experience points, always good. Hmm. So it would be nice to get two more points. I just don't know what I would take. Get new equipment six months later than normal. That sounds awful. Um, minus 10% core slot sounds awful. I mean, why would I... I mean, I'm getting a 25% less slots here. I mean, you could argue, okay, well, let's go over here. Um, I think the overstrength thing is important, especially if you do denied air force. Um, that means you're going to start with those four planes, right? And you're going to want to overstrength all your planes to the maximum level possible. Because since you only have four, they need to be as powerful as possible. And the same with the artillery. You're only going to start with two artillery. You might as well overstrength them. Um, so it's interesting, because since we aren't denying ourselves those, we could say no overstrength again. Um, but I'm going to leave it be. Um, elite replacements are limited to three times per mission. Now, we were blowing that out of the water <laughs> big time. I think once you get better at the game, you could possibly get away with that one. Um, this one actually is doable, but you're going to have to be really good at the game. Cannot use replacements in the middle of battle. And elite replacements are limited to three times per mission. Cannot use replacements in the middle of battle. That sounds even worse. This one's the worst one of them all. You just randomly lose move points and attack actions. Spend two points of ammo on each attack instead of one. That actually seems okay, except for that one SIG 1B unit that only has three ammo total. Get reduced supply. Enemy units can freely move through your zone of control. That's not good. Um. Can upgrade no more than three units per mission. So that would mean like Let's say Tiger Tanks came out, and you wanted to upgrade all your tanks. Hmm. I mean, you may not have enough prestige to upgrade more than three units per mission anyways. This one might be worth doing, just for that reason. But, why would I do it? Just so I can have industry connections, or... Probably for the battle, okay. That's okay. I'm done. I'm not gonna spend any more time Good on morning, this. Let's go. General. You have my congratulations on your new promotion, but now is no time for flattery. I have been personally informed that the invasion of Poland, codenamed Fall Weiss, is to commence immediately. Preliminary estimates for the operation's completion was three months, but now High Command demands the conquest of Poland in weeks. Mere weeks. Okay. To this end, I have transferred a detachment of 10th Army's forces to be placed under your direct command, effective immediately. These men are well trained, but like you, they lack combat experience. I am certain they will serve you well, and that you will mold your new Panzer Corps as you see fit in due time. You should secure key crossings on the Vada River quickly to facilitate your movements and prevent the enemy from fortifying the river line or possibly destroying the bridges entirely. I have also been informed that our declaration of war will be, uh, uh, arriving later. So, you should expect little, if any, resistance in the first few days of your advance. In fact, should you seize Kilze quickly enough, your forces may be able to block Polish mobilization efforts entirely. This would force the understrength Polish garrisons in the region to fight without reinforcements. I eagerly await to see the results of your first combat operation. Don't make me regret putting my trust in you, Head General. Okay. 
All right, so by selecting that box like we did, here's what it allows us to do. I can right click on all these guys and undeploy them. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then um, you can see here, these are our undeployed units. So we can, excuse me, we can upgrade them, sell them, do whatever we need to do. And, and here's what I was talking about. Like, you start with two artillery. We start with two fighters and two bombers. So if I would have checked those boxes, this would have been all I would have had the entire game. Um, I'm not sure it's the worst thing in the world, but anyways, enough of that. Now, the other thing that you're going to notice is that we have 31 of 36 core slots used. But remember, it's because I checked those two boxes. Our tanks are actually taking less slots than they would have. Uh, and same with the infantry. Um, okay, so I think what I want to do is I want to do my upgrades first. We have 500 prestige. I am not convinced I want to sell anything at the moment. But for example, um, this is a 7.5 centimeter. I for sure want to at least get to the 15 centimeter. And so that's going to cost me 210 and two core slots. But that's well worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So boom, I got my artillery upgraded. And he's got a transport. The thing that's cool is they gave us the Sturmpanzer, the Sig 1B. He moves himself, so he doesn't need any transports. The um, <clears throat> uh, you can see here we have our Panzer Wagon 231, and then over here is a 222, which has slightly better defensive values, and it costs 20. So um. I definitely want to do that. I just don't know. I'm, I only have 290, so let's go make sure our other upgrades get done first. And the big ones I want to upgrade are the tanks, because the tanks stink. A Panzer 1B compared to like a 38 TA, I mean, that costs 80. Yeah, I mean, but look at its hard attack value. It goes from 7 to 14. It's way better. The 35 is $20 cheaper. And. What is that? Initiative. So it's a measure of units, gun range, optics, blah, blah, blah. How much damage unit can do before the enemy has a chance to shoot back? So remember that ability, it gives you extra initiative in the beginning of the game. So you'll do a lot of damage at the start of the mission. Hmm. I mean, it's not a bad option. We'll have to try that sometime. All right, so now my biggest dilemma is, am I going to do 80 or 70? This one, of course, has more... Uh, if I do 160, yeah, I'm going to do 80. Let's get the best tank possible. We already have that one. And let's do this one. That one's only going to be 50. Yep. Spent. So we got the best tanks possible. Uh, our artillery is at least good enough. Um, and then we have two Vermont uh, infantry. But they don't have any transports. And that might be something we may want to fix. So how much would it cost? Ooh, it's 105 to get a transport. Yeah, we may have to wait on that. Um, I believe the bombers and fighters are all fully upgraded. Um, so yeah, I'm going to for sure spend the 20 here. Upgrade him. And the other option we have is we can start over-strengthening units. So, we remember I had that disabled last time, but let me show you how that works. So here, um, let's take something a little easier to look at, that tank. So the tank you can see here has, you know, he does 12 soft attack, 14 hard attack. And, you know, he's got other numbers as well. So let's say I'm going to overstrength him to just 11. You can go all the way up to 15, right? And then this is the cost. And these are the number of slots. So let's say I don't have any extra slots. I, I have three extra here. But let's say I only want to go to 11. I'm going to do that. It's going to cost 21. And you'll see, for that $21, or 21 prestige, I'm going to go from 10 health to 11. But nothing else changes. So I'll just have slightly higher health. But let's crank it all the way up to 15. So now you'll see it's going to cost me two core slots, 109 prestige, which I can afford to do, and um, so you'll see the changes there, but you'll see, look, it doesn't change anything. 
else. It's just more health. That's not necessarily true um, with other units. So let's try now the fighter. Let's do the same thing with the fighter. Let's overstrength him by one. Oh, no damage or no difference. Let's go up to... Look how many slots he takes. He'll take six if I go all the way up to there. Wow, nothing's changing... I swear to you, I'm not lying. I thought that their stats got better when you overstrength them. So all it's doing is giving them extra health? Interesting. I thought for sure their strats, stats got better. Or maybe it's just not the case with these early units. Okay, so I'm at 140. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can purchase units. And remember my my uh, my one guy here. Look, he costs 420. It'll be 520 bucks just to get 188. Um, uh, that that would be nice, but obviously I don't have that. So what can I do? I'm at 140. You know what? We're gonna at least get one of the transports in place. So we'll get the Opal Blitz for this guy, and then the other one we'll just have to wait. And yes, let's let's get deployed. So we have some cavalry up here that are revealed. Way over here in Kilsa. Um, uh, if we take it quick and quickly enough, new units don't or they don't get reinforcements or whatever. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but let's um, let's try. So with that in mind, I would need an artillery that can be pretty mobile. Nice to have a tank that's very mobile, and then an artillery or infantry that has um, the ability to use a truck. So let's do another infantry there, one up there. Get some artillery going. Two tanks, and then a recon. Let's get all of our planes up close. No reason for them to be further back. All right, so we didn't use all of our core slots. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and hit end deployment. It's just reminding you of that. So we're gonna say yes. Oh, somebody asked in the comments if you could just do like a, a scenario. And the answer is yes. And I meant to show you that before I started this game. Uh, I'm doing the campaign, but there's no reason you have to play Oh, excuse me, I had to yawn. There's no reason you had to play the campaign. Um, you could have just done a scenario. Uh, there's a lot of other options. Um, but okay. So let's let's uh, rock this. Uh, I like to remove that. All right, so this cavalry is actually pretty decent against infantry, but he's not so good against tanks. So I may want to use tanks against him. I'm pretty sure there's going to be infantry here and here. So let's try to come in and... Yep. Uh, that's an anti-tank unit there. So I'm going to... Come up with my artillery. Attack that anti-tank. As you can see, my infantry can't quite get there. So I'm going to... Ooh, that would be brutal. So let's do... Attack with my bomber. Then I should have a strategic bomber. Now there's something I noticed that, that's really cool. So if you go into the unit details, go to cam camouflage. What I found is that making my fighters red like this. Look, see, see the red on the wings? It just makes it pop a little bit more on the screen. So they're easier to recognize. Uh, which guys are my fighters. So I have a blue one and a red one. And then this, of course, is my JU-88. So if I go to his camouflage, I can, you know, give him the winter... Oh, it's not my JU, but it's... You know what I mean. Um, 
And obviously, if I choose the red and blue, that's going to be a problem. And they give you other country colors as well, but let's try to stay traditional German. So yeah, he's default summer. And then maybe, uh, just so I can differentiate him and the other one, you know, let's do Africa. So he's got that nice brown pop on him. And uh, so we can do that. All right. So I got my bombers out. Let's use one of my fighters to attack there. Then my other fighter, if somebody retreats, he can help. But I want to protect my bomber, I think. Yeah, see? That didn't help too much. The tanks are not going to be able to do a good number on him. Alright, my infantry are so far back that I can't even... Uh, I didn't do a good job there, that's for certain. So we'll move up to here. This one, I'm going to go ahead and do the attack. And there are going to be big losses. And that would be a big loss. That's not as big as I would think. Yeah, let's go up and we could use our fighter. Yeah, let's do that. Finish him off. And um Oh, I got another infantry here. But he can't go quite as far. So we'll go this way with him. Yeah, I'm not doing a good job of going after Kilsa. But we can at least move our artillery up. Hmm, I don't know if I want to attack. I'm going to let it be. So let's go ahead and end our first turn. Oh, taking quite a hit with our artillery there on both sides that's what I get all right well for sure their plane is gonna be toast but isn't that red really cool I'm not a, usually a big fan of customizing colors and stuff on your units but that's pretty cool and see and you can even German units have a lot of stuff, but like we can, you know, give them some camo. Um, or whatever. So let's try it. Let's give him some camo. See what it looks like. Yeah, you can see he's got, he's sporting some nice camo there. But I did a stupid move and moved him up too far. I'm going to go ahead and go after him. Uh, let's see. Four there, three there. Go after the anti-tank. And... Strategic bomb this guy. Yeah, so he's consuming an entire infantry unit there. We can come up and... Oh, I like that. And... Yeah, let's take the city. So we got 75 prestige for that. I have a tank here, which I'm going to bring back down and around. I'm going to make some short work of these cavalry units. Yep, I can get another tank down here. Alright, so uh, as far as this guy goes... 
Yep, I got one tank left that can do a really nice attack on him. That was some really good damage. We can artillery him. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then go in and make him retreat even more. So I think that's the best I can do there. I think I've used all my, well, nope, I got this. Oh my goodness. This infantry unit has nowhere to go. So that means we're just gonna go backwards and attack this guy. So I don't know if this guy is just gonna retreat backwards and go straight for my airport or what he's gonna do, but I don't know how much I can do about that right now. So let's go ahead and end turn. Well, the good news is this guy didn't do anything. And I think some of it is because remember when we have to retreat, we don't have movement points when it's our turn. So I think that's a good thing. It would really stink if he retreats and then he uses that as an opportunity to just go take territory. So we're gonna go ahead and attack him with our five strength unit here, which was perfect. And then maybe he'll move later. We have two tanks. Our recon unit attack that. And he's as good as toast. We do have one infantry unit here, so as much as I would love to come in and take this, I don't think I can this turn. But as you can see, at least from a recon perspective, there's nothing in between. So we're going to go ahead and attack with the tank. Well, that's awesome. We overran him. And let's at least charge. I think we're going to be too late, but we'll go ahead and charge anyways. That's as far as he can move. This guy did an attack, and then he'll move. Alright, so we got at least the southern flank pretty much open. Kilsa is coming up. Um... Now I'm pronouncing it that way because that's what the little general dude did when he was explaining the mission. I would have called this Kilsey, but um, I can learn, I promise. All right, let's go up and see if we can punch him. That's even better. We got an overrun, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack there. Let's move up and see if we can do some damage to him. We did, and then we're gonna go up, take that, and do some more damage. And then we're gonna move our uh, artillery up. Okay, so we still have all of our planes. This one could do one damage up there. I don't think there's any air, or can we re, hold on. Yeah, we only have two. That's not an airport up there. All right, so um, we can go up there and do one damage. Go ahead and do that. Hmm. Yep, there's a guy there. That's what I was hoping for. And then we have our bombers. This one can almost get there. He's like those Geico commercials with the guy with the fishing rod in the... Almost had it! Um, I don't know if there's an anti-air here, but let's try. Oh, yep, there is. The good news is all they did was suppress. We were able to do some damage. Then here's our regular bomber. He can't fly quite as far. And I probably should have used him instead of a fighter to attack something. But it is what it is. And all in all, I would say that was a decent round.
That one wasn't. Uh oh, I'm nervous now. Boy, they came in with everything they had there. All right, well, let's try to finish off this fighter. got him this time. We have infantry here. We have this weak guy up there. I should be able to overrun him. And then come swing around. Do some good damage to him. And then as far as my infantry goes, I... Hmm. Let's try this. damage was good and then this guy can't quite oh, we can go try to go after him again yeah let's do it all right well these so here's my thoughts these three infantry are definitely a problem this guy, I would like to come up and attack that anti-air. So let's see how well... He's got... 340 experience. I would lose 243 of it. So yeah, let's do elite. I got him up to 7. I don't think these three units are going to hurt me that badly. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward try to take the next objective even better and then we got this stuff down here so if I move my artillery in like I can I can suppress them but see my infantry is too far away I still can't attack the city very well um, so attacking with the recon Did a nice overrun. Um, I think I'm going to be able to cut off supply. So let's try that. And then I'm going to be able to prevent that plane from healing. So come up here. Yep, I got him encircled. So uh, here's the problem. I think as soon as I hit end turn, it's going to tell me it took me too long. And um, they're going to reinforce. And they're going to get more troops. But... To be quite honest, there's, I mean, it would be a suicide run for me to attack with my tanks. This infantry isn't quite able to get there. I mean, I'm going to be able to move in and then disembark, which is awesome. So I'm ready next round to really do a number on them, but I think it's too little too late. Um, and then, of course, I got to be concerned about this one because he's only half strength. But what I can do is I can swing around and take objectives. 75 more prestige. I like that. Um, Alright, I think that's everybody. Yep. Yeah, so we did not capture Kelsey or Kilsa quickly enough. They mobilized their reserve. And you can see that, that tank units there. Of course, they're going after my artillery. They only really damaged them once. So, the Kilsa thing, I guess just one extra tank is here. Um, I don't think it's really bad news. I mean, it's just it's more experience points for us, right? Uh, but, for example, my fighter here can't hit to theirs. But I can come up and finish him off. I now have an airfield up here. So, I think I'm going to come up with my tank. That's a nice overrun. And... Yeah, we're going to just go ahead and charge. I think my planes are all going to rebase. Oh, 
Oh, I can only put two planes in that airfield. I can rebase all the way down there. Or, you know what? It's the strategic bomber. This is a dirt airfield here. And dirt airfields can't have strategic bombers. Ah, I forgot about that rule. Okay. Well, um, and then, see, this guy had to retreat. So you can see here he's... And if I can not reinforce them now, it's cheaper to do it in between missions. So I'm going to try to hold out there. I only have a five strength unit here, so I'm a little bit concerned. I don't want to get too close because these guys have proven to run out of the city and attack you if they think they have good odds against you. So there's a nice two damage to him. Yeah, we got some nice attack odds. So let's suppress him. Oh my gosh, we forced him out. Just gonna go ahead and move in and take that city for 150. Let's swing around. And hopefully we'll get an overrun. We did. So we can move up. Get that infantry unit for some good damage. And then this is a uh, recon. I'll leave that be. I'm actually going to retreat one space. And of course our artillery. Uh, yeah, I'll move them in closer. Alright, I'm, I'm generally happy with how this turn turned out. I could have attacked with him, but that's okay. Alright, Corona Charlie. I love it. Alright, so we're going to move in and get to at least here. Got to go a little bit slower here. Going to get up like that. Uh, I think what I want to do is swing around. Yep, I'm going to get him encircled. And then one of my fighters is going to just try to reduce their entrenchment level by one. This fighter here, we can go... And yeah, we're actually going to take on their healing plane over there. And then we have a bomber that can do some straight up damage. Go after their artillery. Oh, I gotta love that. And then I think, oh, I wanted to go after, oh, I, I have my fighter over him, so I can't do that. So <laughs> let's start weakening this city. He's a supply point, so he's never going to be out of supply. Um, my artillery... Does that really say eight? Holy cow, he reinforced, didn't he? So... We're going to go ahead and attack with our infantry. Four damage is never bad. can do two damage my recon and you know what I'm gonna use my fiber over here to knock him oh that was even better we completely eliminated him sweet all right so I still have artillery what is his range Range is only two. Okay, so that's one of the problems with him. Well, if I move him here, here's what's guaranteed to happen. This jerk's going to come after me. So let's see if I can do something about that. I'm gonna come in, attack. Come in, attack. And then come in, and I got a little bit of a cushion, right? 
so I can hit them a bit. And yeah, I don't want to do anything there. I think if I just wait another turn, I'll be better there. That should be good. Let's hit the end turn. If you ever see the series Alo Alo, uh, you got the the uh, general from Italy. Where he goes, "Ay, beautiful lady, you're making my heart go boom, ticky boom, ticky boom." And the uh, other phrase he always says is, "What a mistake to make a." <laughs> That's what always goes through my head as I play this game. What a mistake to make a. Okay, so this guy, like I said, was a troublemaker, just not in the way I thought he would be. I'm down to one health here. I think I want to just stay alive with him. So it's all about the BGs for him. And um, let's go ahead and attack. Suppress by two. And I'm actually going to move him this way. Now my fighters, of course, I want to harass stuff. So I think, you know, one of them for sure is just going to come here hit him and then this one they keep healing this plane so we might as well go in and keep getting experience points right I really love the red and blue I can't say that enough okay so this guy is going to suppress and I'm going to go suppress up here and I'm not ready to attack this town yet because this jerk excuse me that jerk so we're gonna go bomb the jerk. And I'm going to artillery the jerk. And then I'm going to attack the jerk. At least did one damage. Three damage. Four damage. Oh. Not enough to do anything. Well, we took the city. surrender that's good okay I'm nervous that this guy's gonna get attacked by him but beyond that I think I'm happy with it sort of wasn't expecting that all right well we're definitely gonna Wreck that bomber there. This guy is not going to heal. He's going to just keep pounding. This guy's down to one health. So are we. But I think I can overrun him. So we're going to do that. And we're going to swing around this way and overrun him. And then just wait. I don't think I'm. Swing up like that, and let's get some suppression going, and then some bombing over here. Being able to kill three is really good. Get an attack in. Get your attack in. He has nowhere to retreat to, so this is going to be interesting. He's going to surrender. There it is. Sweet. 
Yeah, let's go in with our little singleton dude. All right, we got 150 more prestige. I, I would love to attack this, but I don't think it's going to be a good idea. And there's only four strength on that guy, so I'm not going to do it. So this is another end turn, but we're doing great. I'm very happy with the progress. We're on turn 8 out of 15. And do I want to suppress or do I want to just kill? I like the idea of killing. Three damage is always good. And then he can do some suppression. And this guy's done nothing but drive. Get in position and then have to drive again. Um, infantry's just not quite able to make it, but this one can make it. And he's going to do some nice damage here. Yep. We won this. This round, even. Whooped. Okay, as soon as I drive in there, he's dead. Uh, or we're going to win, so let's do that. Boom. Now that's how it's done, folks. I, I don't know if it's just because we played a... Um, until France, I felt like I was playing awful, but man oh man, I feel like I'm, I'm a total pro now. And this is of course a new map. We didn't do this map before, but this is a nice easy map, this particular one. Um, and I still fail to, to do things quickly enough or whatever. But uh, anyways, this was really good. I'm happy. And how much time are we in on this recording? six minutes. Okay, well, usual fashion. I'm going to go ahead and end. As always, stay awesome, stay healthy, stay safe. And let me get alt-tabbed here.